I've been asleep for a long time. My eyes have been closed. Um, and when I was 17, I went into the Army. My first unit was uh, the Army Corps of Engineers. And I thought I was fighting for my country. And I was. And uh, now I'm fighting for my country again. These, these people aren't fighting against the United States, they're fighting for it. Peacefully. They're trying to save everyone. And the least we can do is support them in any way that we can. And I have time. My name's Tiger Knight and I'm from uh, Gaffney, South Carolina. I was very sad before I came, and uh, not very hopeful about the world. A few years ago, I uh, lost my sight. I still see light, but it's uh, extremely painful. So I know where the sun is, but it, it washes everything out. You feel weak and kind of helpless when you uh, lose your sight. And uh, so I took a bus. It was uh, about 48 hours, I think. I kind of lost track of time because I wasn't able to sleep on the bus. It was a journey showing that uh, I can still be strong and still do everything. I, I tell people sometimes that uh, it makes me an opportunity for good karma or bad karma. You can see me having problems and you can ignore me, or you can offer to help. I like to do everything myself. I want to accomplish it. I want to climb that hill and I want to beat that hill. Um, but I can't climb every hill by myself. And I know that now, when I didn't know that before. We all need each other. I rode Greyhound for most of the way and uh, they were nothing but awesome to me. Passengers helped me uh, with, with my baggage, and it was heavy. It was at least 75 pounds because I only have the one hand. And I gained faith in humanity again. So not only faith in myself, but other people. I was trying to get in with the Red Warriors, but you have to have connections, and I don't have those connections. So right now I'm waiting and I'm watching and I'm listening and when it comes I'll be there for it if it means chaining myself to something I'm more than happy to do that but right now they don't want us to do that so I do what I do what I'm told I'm a good soldier I'm camped uh, with uh, veterans for peace it seemed right. You're always trying to find something in life, and my life, it's, it's attaining peace, even though it's something that's very hard for me. I'm proud that I'm a peaceful person now, and that I've learned how not to fight. I will if I have to, but I've learned how not to. Have you had to fight a lot in your past? Yes. Tell me about that and why. Mm -mm. I could have went to uh, across the river to the Lakota, but I'm going to wait for my partner to come and, and go with her there. My partner's from Pine Ridge and she's Lakota. The things that have been done to the natives. She's told me a lot of that and it's not right. So uh, she gets very emotional. But when someone you care about cries, you want to do something to make it stop. I can't imagine having to have had to be her and let me walk out, you know, drive me there and drop me off. I can't imagine having done that. That would be terrible to have to do but I, 
I'm pretty sure I've made her proud. She's going to come out in three weeks and spend a couple of days, hopefully, and uh, hopefully bring me some supplies, like uh, pants, <laughs> shirts, socks, a pillow. Oh, a pillow would be nice. <laughs> We're intending for her to come out, and then I'm going to stay the rest of the winter. It'll be nice. It'll be nice and cool, I hear. <laughs> In these kind of camps, everything's changing all the time. The sounds constantly change. Uh, the tents are constantly changing. The roads are constantly changing. The line for the food is constantly changing. There's so much change going on all the time that I can't, I can't make a map to follow. It gets a little frustrating, but uh, eventually it'll settle down and uh, maybe it'll stop changing so much and uh, I'll uh, get better at it. I think that everybody should come here. But when people come here, they'll see the narrative, they'll know, they'll go out and they'll tell people what's really going on. I think if you can't come here, then you should help these people. If anybody's worth fighting for, it's people that will give this much, who have been fighting this long and this hard. They're still fighting, yes, for themselves, but for us too. In just a few days, it's like filled up, filled up my spirit and... It's beautiful here.